It was like a Tuesday night at like 5.20. I got the call uh, for the Holly home fight. And we're like, okay, let's, let's do this. I'm actually really excited about this fight. I have a lot of respect for Holly. Um, she's a phenomenal athlete. She's been fighting at the top of the sport for a really long time. And uh, this is a, it's a, you know, it's a good name to have a win over. So it's, of course, like you're definitely gonna motivate you. The fight obviously is, is huge for a couple of different reasons. I, I think just for her personally, this is her, her first shot in the, in the UFC. I think for her to, to have this position put in front of her, I think is, uh, is best case scenario. Good. Nice. Kick. Two, three again. Pass me again. Nice. Two, three again. We're ready to really test her skills against the best in the world. I believe she's the best 145 pound female fighter on the planet. And I, I want to find that out. Good. Keep coming. Keep coming. Yep. For me, it's not about winning over Holly per se. It's more of like uh, showing everyone that I am a world class athlete and I'm one of the best in the world at what I do. Nice. Good shit. Okay, you look fucking good. Sharp, hitting hard as shit. You're good. This is my beast. I want a new car, but I have to wait till I fight so I can have money. It's like free for all. Right now, uh, because she's training so hard and because she's usually staggered stance, one side of her back is usually a lot tighter. So right now we're using a technique called cupping, um, old Chinese technique, but it's awesome for athletes. It's a great way to break up muscles that are overworked, gets more blood flow in them. The, uh, the one thing that I find with Megan is she's a go-getter. She's 100 miles per hour all the time, and so I am having to get on her to come in here and let me take care of her because she has that champion mindset of go, 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 go. And so I have to get her to slow down, slow down, slow down every once in a while. We got to keep her ready to go so she can get that belt. I'm ready to go now. Um, and I'm excited to get back into the cage on June 9th. Like I'm excited to showcase like my evolution and how much I've changed in you know the year or so since I fought uh, since I fought last. The one thing about Megan that, that uh, I admire is that when she had a long layoff, but in that long layoff, she didn't uh, take any time off. She was in the gym the whole time. She was focused on her diet, focused on her weights, and uh, I really think that's gonna show through in her fight. So one, two, I step. I'm gonna go this in front, step my back leg to behind his butt. I've been an underdog in every one of my fights, and this is just another opportunity to, you know, I got nothing to lose. 
So, you know, just go out there and have fun and, and show everyone what we're capable of. It's just the type of fighter I am. Like, I kind of fight with a bit of a chip on my shoulder. And um, so I'm definitely going to bring the fight to Holly. One of the things that we have going into every fight is is we've dedicated everything to this. We've cut no corners. We train hard every day. There's been no slip ups. We don't be like, hey, let's take a session off today. I think going into every fight, we have confidence knowing that we've done it all, you know, and, and that relieves pressure off of us. It's just under three weeks left. I have, I've known since 10 weeks, so I guess I'm seven weeks deep into my camp. Three weeks left. I'm getting that point where I'm sick of training. I just want it to be fight time. You know, she's she's five and zero with five broken orbital bones since joining our gym, and uh, I don't see that stopping anytime soon.